Hey guys, Mama One here again with build number 29. This is one of my absolute favorite builds. This one came from Almost Addicted or A1 Addicted. Um, it, I've got the link to his tutorial down below. It is a really awesome build and I friggin' love it. It's a skeleton head, skeleton skull. Yeah, I love it. This came out so good. I love it so much. I did tweak it on the inside and I tweaked the eyes a little bit and I'll show you what I did there. Um, and I'm just gonna pause, or if you wanna just pause the video here so you can count the squares and see and whatnot, um, it might make it a little easier. I do highly recommend that you follow his tutorial. It is much better than mine. I'm still kind of starting on this uh, tutorial stuff. It is not the best. Um, and I know it, I'm working on it. Um, it's kind of hard to do the tutorial once it's already built, but uh, if I did it while I was building stuff, it would be like an hour, two hour long video, maybe more. So anyway, watch his video to get the basic instructions on how to do the skull and the hands. I did my hands a little different. His hands, his fingers kind of come down, scale down the the mountain there but I just kind of used the mountain that I had and I left his hands the way they are so it, these hands kind of look like they're gripping the mountain versus his hands are just kind of hanging over um, but this is basically all the same as what he did the only difference is I put nether rack in here and lit it on fire so that his eyes are constantly like you know creepier um, Everything else is identical to what he did. The inside is a little bit different, if I can get up here. There we go, we go in. Um, he used the red nether brick as well. What I did that's different from his is I put my fire back behind iron bars. Again, with the nether, a nether rack brick down here behind the furnaces and lit it on fire so it's constantly on fire. And my furnaces are inset into the wall. Same on this side. You can make it as deep as you want or as wide as you want as the mountain will allow you to. Um, he has a nether portal at the end of his as well. I put a door on mine in case any mobs decide to come in. I also just didn't want it wide open so I filled it in with the nether brick. The other thing that I did differently was that I also added stairs for a second floor. So using the same, so that it f works with the dimensions that are out on the outside, um, my ceiling is one, two, three, is the fourth block up. And then over here next to the fire, I did the nether brick stairs with the nether block filling it in. You come upstairs, and again, I did the nether brick walls, the nether brick ceiling, added a bed. Um, and then over here, I did the same thing with the fire where it's kind of inside the wall with the nether rack lit on fire at the iron bars in front. I think the iron bars give it a more, sorry, a creepier little feeling to it. I don't know, I like it. Um, that's the difference between his build and mine. You can, of course, expand it any which way you want, as long as the mountain allows you to. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You can go in deeper, you can go out, go up, go down, however you want. This room is also three high with the ceiling on the fourth block. I kind of like it taller, but I wanted to keep that creepy kind of feeling to it, so I just kind of left it at three. But this, this build leaves room for so much creativity and so many different looks to it. You can do black stairs if you want going up so that you can actually see the stairs. Um, that's one thing that uh, I usually have trouble with. Uh, and back here, you know, you can always have another door back here going into another room behind here, or you can build expanding it out to the left or to the right, however you want. 
he used banners for the teeth block of black quartz sorry and regular white quartz there's a lot of dimension to this with the stairs and you know the jutting in and out giving it that dimension uh, I believe in his video he played around with the nose and the eyes he couldn't get it to look the way he wanted it to look I do like absolutely like his final product this is his product right here this face is what he his final product was like I said the difference is I use nether rack with fire um, to get that to look better but uh, yeah you're gonna want the back of his skull to be in line with the mountain that's my biggest suggestion on that because I think it'll look a lot lot better um, I'll try to kind of get in a little bit closer here so you can pause the video and look and see but like I said you're going to want to use his tutorial it is so much better I couldn't even begin to tell you how to make this um, I followed his tutorial and it took me even following his tutorial it took me about an hour hour and a half just to get the skull done right but that's because that's how I am you can probably follow the video and get through it easy peasy no problem um, the snow I didn't lay the snow down the snow it just snowed and covered it with the snow so but I think it adds a little extra something to it too it just looks like it's been there forever and you know you can add vines to it even um, depending on what kind of mountain you have if it's a grassy mountain then you know with a lot of grass on it you can add the vines make it look like it's overgrown like it's been there forever add some dead bushes to it make it look even a little creepier if you have the option with the mod pack that you're using you can have gravestones and skeletons I god I wish I could have done that with this one um, but I didn't but I do believe that would make it even so much cooler the just options that are out there if you have any options um, for other viewers, please do feel free to leave them in the comments uh, to make this even creepier, even better. If you have any questions, suggestions, constructive criticism, I'm happy to listen either on the build or the video itself. I'm happy to listen and I'll respond as soon as I possibly can. Otherwise, you like the video, you like the build, please do leave a like, hit the subscribe button, I do plan on having several more videos coming out. I'm working on getting over 300 of them out. It's taking me a while, but I'll get there. I keep having trouble with uh, YouTube allowing me to upload my videos properly. So it'll get there, I promise. Until next time, guys, thank you so, so much. I will talk to you next time. Bye.